Okay, I don't know how to start this video, but I thought I would give you guys a little bit like of like an update and stuff on my life and this channel and everything because I'm a YouTuber, right? That's what YouTubers do, right? They post videos. I don't fucking know. So I put out a video last weekend and um, I was going to film this week and I had a few ideas, um, but then I got really sick. So I got this pain in my stomach and I was like, this is weird. Hopefully that goes away. And then I went to bed. And then I woke up the next morning and it was like infinitely worse. So I was like, uh oh, uh oh, uh, this is uh, this is brutal. So I went to the, the clinic and they were like, uh oh, you should go to the hospital. And I was like, oh, sweet. So I went to the hospital and uh, was there for like five hours because, you know, everyone is fucking sick all the time. They did a bunch of tests on me and then found out that I have some sort of infection. So I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> so they gave me some antibiotics to take. I took some of those and I'd be like, okay, cool. I'll be done in like a week. Uh, next day I had the most insane uh, fucking stomach and gas pains I've ever had in my life, like crippling, like I couldn't really move. And like my stomach just hurt so much. And I was, f I honestly, no joke, probably farted like 600 times. Cause and just farting and burping and just like the, mer like the most uncomfortable I've ever been. Um, so I was like, this is fucked. And my girlfriend was like, yeah, you should, is stop taking those if they're ruining your body. And I was like, you're right. So I went uh, today to get some new antibiotics and those are kind of giving me a weird like allergic reaction, I think. So you know what, life is just great. This is a little update and um, I wanted to just kind of talk about um, some stuff and some things that, be that have been going through my head and stuff that's been going on with me. So if you don't care, you don't have to keep watching this video, but if you do, you can keep watching it. Um, so yeah, come along. Okay, that was fun, wasn't it? I never really talk about like personal stuff or any issues like that on this channel usually because I like to keep it, you know, kind of just like funny and that's it, like a place for someone to just come and just laugh at shit and you know? But I mean, I want to switch it up and try to kind of just kind of talk about what's been going on lately and stuff. Cause I don't know, maybe switch it up. It's a, it, It'll be a nice change to just kind of talk and kind of get my thoughts out, you know? So this, this is what this is going to be. The main thing I want to talk about, but kind of the only thing, is uh, being stuck creatively and like, just in terms of like motivation and stuff. Struggle with that so, so much. I, and I always worry that I struggle way more than a lot of people um, that do similar things. It's tough, you know, especially working a full-time job where I'm pretty much being creative all day and then trying to come home and be creative even more for my own stuff, it's uh, it's tricky, you know, it's a tough balance. I love my job, don't get me wrong. I'm just saying it's just like a, it's tough to, it's tough to stay motivated and uh, creative and funny and it's just tough to like, you know, it's just weird when you get stuck in your routine and you get lazy some days and then you see all these other people who are just doing so much better than you and then they're just posting about it and sharing it and being like, this is, this is it. I've never had any issues. It's all easy for me. Curtis, you're doing it wrong. Something's up with you. That's all I see. <laughs> you know, that's all. If anyone posts anything, I see it as I compare myself and my success or um, just my my career and I and I compare it to that person. Even if it's, some, even if it's something like completely different to what I'm doing. A girl could post something about like, hey, I just got a a modeling contract, super happy, and uh, it took like a lot of work and effort and time, and you know I'm really proud of this, and I think I deserve it. And then I be, and then I'll see it, and my mind will be like, "Suck, Curtis, you're not doing shit. Fuck you." You know, <laughs> it's tough to not feel like that, especially in 
in terms of social media where it's there's numbers there and it's easy to get caught up in it and see it and worry about it and compare yourself to people who are also doing things similar to you. In a perfect world, I'd be able to view myself as an individual, someone who is doing something that only one person is doing on the planet or on the internet or wherever, wherever the hell I'm doing it and don't worry about anyone else because it's we're not doing the exact same thing so it's how could you compare it it could be similar but it's not the exact same so you should be I should just be taking pride and be happy with what I have um, something about my brain is like nope oh nope not today buddy mm-mm oh you oh you wanted to be happy today dude and I'd be like yeah yeah that, that'd be nice and he's like well too bad here, look at this guy doing better than you. And I'm like, ah, come on, man. You're ruining my day. So I'm going through that, especially a lot lately. And it's weird because that usually happens in like the winter time when things are like kind of not nice and like it's gray outside and it's like sad and stuff. But it's like fucking beautiful outside and it's sunny and it's like I should just be stoked and like be ready for like a good time or whatever. And I'm just like bummed and shit. I don't know. It's weird. It's very strange. At the same time, I would be very concerned if things were just going well all the time and I never worried about anything. That's not really a life I would want to live. So I guess it's just like finding the balance of everything and taking the bad with the good and being grateful for the things I do have and the things that are going well for me and and maybe just like stop beating myself up if I don't have a good idea that day. I think that's a, I think this is the case with all creative people and I don't think we talk about it enough. I hate calling myself a creative person. I hate calling myself an anything person. But I hate what I just said. <laughs> you see? You see what you see? Like there is that part of me that wants to make things and create things and entertain people and I want it to do well obviously I want people to to like it and like the work I'm doing and stuff I think that's the curse though like I can't like I I love make I love what I do so much I love making videos I love making people laugh like I love it to death I love it and that's I'll always love doing that but there's a part of me that wishes that I did it so I could just be like totally cool with just not doing anything like, you know, just blissful ignorance for the rest of my life, that'd be great. But I'm in a position where I'm able to do what I love to do, so I should stop being a fucking idiot about it. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I posted about this kind of on my Instagram, and I just want, and a lot, a lot of, like, people reach out to me, which is, like, really cool. So a lot of people do go through this, which makes me feel a lot better that this is not just me. <laughs> if you have any recommendations or things that help you to get through, a, like, a creative rut or anything, or help things that help inspire you or kind of refresh your love for things fucking leave a comment dude sound off in the comment section on how to fix your existential crisis <sighs> i don't want people to watch this and think that i'm being ungrateful or anything because i am so so unbelievably grateful for the people that support me and watch my things and and listen to my podcast and do everything like it's honestly it's a fucking dream come true literally so i don't want people to think that i'm being like complaining being like oh i want more like, I don't care, I just want me to be happy with the stuff I'm doing more, you know? But I want to finish this off by saying um, thank you for watching. If you're feeling the way I do, who can relate? Let's talk about it in the comments. Let's fucking chat, chit-chat and shit. I'm gonna go outside, maybe fucking write a stuff down. Who knows? We'll see what happens. I'm gonna try, all right? This was good, though. Uh, I don't think I made any points in this video. I think these were just a bunch of words in a row that made a bunch of different sentences uh, that didn't really make any sense, but that's fine. Uh, fuck it. It's my channel. I can post what I want, dude. Yeah, I guess I'll talk to you guys soon okay i will make a video soon i promise and it will be funny and it will be great i promise <laughs> see you folks i ain't the sharpest tool in the shed she was looking kind of dumb with her finger and her thumb in the shape of an l on her forehead well people start coming and they don't stop coming and they don't stop coming and they don't